hello guys this is Sajid with another video and in this specific video we will talk about wordpress custom theme or custom plugin translation uh, in this specific video i will use uh, this software uh, po edit which is a free software and it is available for windows for mac and for linux okay so i have already installed this software and uh, you can see uh, the software is here okay and I will use I will translate this website okay let's say this website is all about famous quotes and uh, uh, I want to translate this text only the read more button I want to translate this to maybe to Arabic or to German or to French or whatever language but uh, my main target is to translate the text of this button okay so this is not like 100% uh, automatic translation as Google is doing because if you rely on uh, on automatic translation then there will be some mistakes that's why we are doing translation manually for each word and for each paragraph okay so I recommend manual translation okay so uh, let me show you the theme you can see this is a theme the theme name is lovely theme uh, I have one I have star.cc file and here you can see the text domain which is very important for translation uh, then I have index.php uh, file a simple file with a read more button okay, with okay with a read more link and uh, function.php okay uh, in this function.php here I'm using uh, this hook okay so this hook will execute when when the theme is set up okay and uh, you can see I'm loading uh, uh, the language translation files here uh, here I created a folder you can see but inside the folder there is no file and uh, so this uh, this code pointing to this uh, folder which is empty and lovely theme this is the text domain make sure this this and this is same okay both are same so you understand star.cc is function.php and if anything you want to translate okay so you will use this function okay uh, underscore e okay if you want to translate something you will use underscore e function and then you will pass the text and then you will pass the text domain okay so uh, this is text domain and this is my text which I want to translate okay so the translation is uh, dependent on text domain make sure uh, you use it correctly okay now uh, I go I open this software and I click on file new here it is asking for the translation so uh, let's say I, I want to translate this website to Vietnamese not the whole website but only this button okay so I you can see you can choose here uh, 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 any language but I choose Vietnamese and I click next and then I click on save okay uh, I save the file okay I save inside the languages folder and uh, you can see the name is vi.po you don't need to change the name and then uh, I extract from sources so when I click this it will extract okay everything every string inside this uh, wait I, I need to mention this here so first I add the source where which folder I want to translate so I want to translate this lovely theme and uh, then I go here and I click like uh, which function I'm using for translation purpose I'm using underscore e okay so you can see uh, 
this PO edit software will automatically uh, detect all the strings uh, okay which are inside this underscore e function like this read more so uh, now if I click on it then I, I I need to enter the translation here okay so let's say uh, English to well, no, uh, what is the text the text is I think read more okay so I copy it and I paste it here okay sorry and uh, I click on save okay so click on save and now I close this software and if I uh, here if I show you the language folder sorry sorry where well, I need to go to a theme and you can see inside the lovely theme there is uh, now two file vi.mo and vi.po uh, which are which are the files for uh, PO edit and WordPress will use them for translation purpose. Okay uh, Now if I refresh you can see no change, but uh, first You will go to, you will click on users. Okay, and uh, then click on uh, edit And mention the lo the language so for this like uh, for the admin panel mostly I use uh, English language because I don't know Vietnamese Vietnamese are only for my visitors So I update the profile so the admin panel language will not change Okay, if I change the language of my site and then I go to setting general and uh, I change the language of my site. So uh, here I change it to uh, Vietnamese and uh, very difficult to find uh, Vietnamese uh, I think here this is Vietnam okay so in <laughs> the Vietnam Vietnamese is written in Vietnamese language a bit confusing okay now let's see you can see the read more button is changed okay so now the question arises here why we are not using uh, some automatic tools like wordpress translate or something like that the reason is there this translation is not 100 percent accurate and if you are using uh, uh, if you are making a professional website then you need to be very careful with translation that's why you should do the translation manually so this is a uh, uh, the software which we used PO edit a free software uh, This is article uh, I will uh, Attach this article with uh, I will paste in the description this article in the description of this video and why not to add one another language So again new this time uh, I want to add uh, maybe Urdu okay and uh, now you can use both oh, okay I again I extract from source sorry they are saying first save the project so uh, I save okay in the same languages folder okay then I click on extract here I add uh, the theme I want to translate this theme and then here uh, uh, I use E okay sometimes we use other functions also like double E uh, double underscore there are many uh, functions for translation in WordPress okay uh, like underscore E double underscore okay so just uh, you can add multiple functions okay now i click on it and uh, okay read more so uh, i say english to Urdu. 
read more uh, I paste this here and I save so I save okay and now if I change the the language to Urdu so you can add multiple languages and and here you can see the the button text or the link text is now in Urdu okay uh, okay there are there are, we mainly use two functions uh, one is double underscore and one is underscore e so e means echo so this function is uh, also echo the value the translated value okay uh, you can see uh, I'm not using any echo like this so uh, the e is uh, this function is also is translate the value and echo the value uh, if you want to use the echo manually then you will need to do something like this okay now double underscore with double underscore it will not echo the value then you will need to uh, write echo okay you can see still the same okay uh, that's it and uh, also if you uh, here you can see I use after setup theme so you can read about it here this even fires after the theme is loaded okay so that's it and uh, if there is any question you can ask me in the comment section and uh, if you like this video and you learned something from this then please don't forget to subscribe comment like and share thank you